This is the final tutorial looking at sampling. We are going to make things polyphonic so that we can have as many overlapping samples as we like in a single object. To do this, we want to make ourselves a single voice sub patch. We will do this with a one shot player that used the line object instead of the phase or object. Copy and paste the player part into a new file. One of the complexities here is that we still want to use unique array names and receive names as discussed in the last tutorial. The main issue is that we will need to pass in the unique number, referred to by dollar note in the main patch. Here, for slightly confusing clone related reasons, the argument will come in as dollar two, so rename your array and receives with a dollar two. Save this as something like sampvoice.pd or similar, and make sure it is in the same folder as your other sampler objects. Go back to the file loading portion of the patch. We will save this as our polyphonic sampler object. I am calling mine ru.samp.poly. Now create a clone object that includes the Sam voice object that you just made. I want to show how the dollar $1 and dollar $2 work here, so I will add some quick test parts here to show what these values are. I am making the mistake here. I have forgotten to include the actual voice number in the clone object before the dollar note argument. So we have 8 voices here, then we pass in our unique dollar note argument. If we go into the sub patch we can see that the dollar 2 is where this argument is coming in, that is why we used it for our array and receives. We can use a unique receive for the actual playback rate. We are not going to go into great detail on how the clone object and polyphony work in pure data, because you can watch our rich synthesis tutorial free for a starter on this. Let's try creating the polyphonic sample player on our top level patch, Sampler Tester. I am making a bit of a mess here. The next dollar one message triggers the next sampler voice, but I think it needs a number rather than just a bang. That seems to work now. Thank fuck. So let's try it out. Yes, that seems good. It can be useful to trigger the playback and the playback rate at the same time, so I will set up a little bit of extra code to do this and a mini triggering patch.
there we go. This example sounds pretty cracky, but you get the general idea, and hopefully you can do something much more interesting with polyphonic samples playback. See you all next time.